To understand this, we must first journey back to the election season that saw numerous irregularities in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, and Zimbabwe. These irregularities caused a ripple effect, leading to disputed election results that threatened democracy and development in Southern Africa. In the DRC, President Felix Tshisekedi's victory was not without controversy, marred by allegations of irregularities. The situation was no different in Zimbabwe, where President Emerson Nangagwa's wins were contested due to issues like late polling station openings and voter intimidation. The Southern African Development Community, SADC, did not turn a blind eye to these issues. Their electoral observer missions criticized the electoral processes in both countries, pointing out that they fell short of democratic standards. The call was clear. The need for transparent and fair elections in all SADC member countries was emphasized to ensure stability and socio-political progress in the region. It was this situation that led to the creation of the SADC's SEOM report on Zimbabwe. This report, seen by many as a beacon of hope, was meant to address the issues that had arisen during the elections and provide a roadmap for future electoral processes. But the question remains, will this report be implemented? And if so, will it bring about the change it promises or will it be just another document gathering dust? In conclusion, the journey from the election irregularities to the creation of the SEOM report has been a rocky one. It has highlighted the need for transparent and fair elections in all SADC member countries to ensure stability and socio-political progress in the region. The implementation of the SEOM report on Zimbabwe could well be a crucial step towards achieving this. Yet, the path to its implementation is far from certain. The coming months and years will surely reveal the impact of this report on the future of democracy in Southern Africa.